Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, I'd like to read about the background of your crush. So the childhood years, the teen years, and the adult years of your, uh, you know, person, the person that you'd like to ask about. It can be your crush, it can be a friend, it can be your relative, it can be anybody. It can be your, you know, celebrity crush or anything like that. So... Um, and this will only be pulling cards for their childhood, for their teenhood, and for their adulthood. So nothing else. And we'll just be looking at their past, basically, what kind of person are they, are they, what kind of family are they from, you know, what kind of teenage years they had, were they like difficult child or were they like very um, a studious child, that sort of thing. I have five tarot card decks in front of me, number one, two, three, four, and five. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person and choose a deck. And take your time, please. Okay, have chosen. We'll start with uh, deck number one. First, I'll be removing these four decks aside. <clears throat> so, deck number one, for those who chose deck number one, this is Rider Waite Mini Tarot. Mini tarot deck, yeah. So, let's ask childhood, teenage years, adult years of the person that you thought of. Let's look at the childhood. Okay, so we're seeing, uh, I think, them. You know, probably brave child. Well, I feel like a little bit of a difficult childhood in a way, unless they were into fights and all. But we're seeing this person being, this child being very um, kind of like defending themselves, standing up for themselves, you know. Or like uh, maybe there was some sort of uh, bullying involved in, in, you know, in the nursery or whatever they used to go to maybe there was domestic violence maybe there was some sort of like they had to hide somewhere uh let's say alcoholic parent maybe that sort of thing so i think like uh, they had a difficult childhood more or less with these cars but i think they were a brave child as well they learn how to adapt they learn how to fight for themselves and uh, but i'm feeling like stress and resistance to things Maybe they were looking at things like in the house, like father beating mother or something like that that scared them. And they were kind of hiding behind the wall, that sort of thing. Um, wow, well, and we see this work card here coming. I don't know whether they... Uh, experienced some sort of work as a child, like they had to work or they had to struggle. Um, they, they worked on something, maybe. Um, maybe they worked with their father, or they watched their father work. Again, we have this money card, like. Yeah, so we have them basically it, it's possible that they were earning money as a child from the age up till 10 years old there is like uh, some sort of financial card i don't know is it begging even is it like poverty you know something like that maybe they were um you know in the family business with their father or something and we see this king of cups being you know, with a cup, so it can be a per person has alcoholic prob uh, alcohol problems, perhaps, but not necessarily. It can be just challenging childhood. It can be that 
they just were exposed to some sort of work, you know, work environment, money, money issues, maybe um, financial struggles in the house and things like that. So that's my first, you know, some sort of, like they didn't have like a peaceful childhood. There was like a little bit challenging childhood that they had. Like, they had to grow up faster than other kids. They had to... Really, they saw difficult things, I feel like, as a child. Okay, let's have a look at their teenage years from 10 to 20. What happened? Well, um, again, we're seeing them kind of managing things. It can be, um, I'm feeling, again, not easy. Like, maybe they were studying and working at the same time. It can be that... Well, this card often is said to be like a playing card but it can be playing but let's have a look with more cards were they playing and enjoying or were they just multitasking because it looks like multitasking already here I think again they were again struggling <clears throat> financially they were struggling financially they could have been working again and we see again King of Wands rever uh, re sorry, reversed. So it can be that uh, again they were with some older man working. And that man is usually not a very nice man. It's very strict. Like even abusive sometimes. King of Wands, you know. And again they are, they are struggling. They are fighting for themselves. They um, have to always be in tension, you know. Uh, here. And we have this coin card so it seems to me like they were basically either dealing with some sort of clients like they were selling something like as a child you know or basically they were just having a very um, kind of tense stressful kind of teen teenhood teenage years yeah now let's have a look from 20 plus so when they grew up what was happening later in life page of wands again it shows a child and here it can show being like a student, again, being like a beginner, maybe a not very educated person. It shows a stable financial situation and it shows happiness. And it shows a woman they love. So, it can be the woman they love if it's a male person. It can be um, an important female friend in their life. And, you know, and it can also be, if it's, let's say, a female person you're asking about, it can be that also best friend or it can be that the female person found happiness in herself, you know, in her talents, etc. So, I think they struggled all their life, but now they are okay. They're a lot better. They have they're financially quite stable, and there is happiness. If they are grown up already, thirty plus or twenty five plus or twenty plus, I don't know, or forty, fifty plus, they might have children as well already and a wife, and live a normal, happy life. So yeah, this was our person number one. That's their life. And let's have a look to the person number two now, deck number two. This is our deck number two, it's Hanson Roberts, the Minute Tarot deck. We'll be asking about the life of the person that you thought of, their childhood. Teenage years and adult years. This is a childhood. Teenage years. And adult years. Okay. Wow. So this person's childhood, we have King of Swords. And, you know, for me, this person... King of Swords is a, a scary man. Again, well, uh, not necessarily scary, but let's say having a father <clears throat> who is a soldier, who is a policeman, who is a, 
army person who's a lawyer, advocate. What else? <clears throat> a person who works with shop tools can be a tailor, carpenter, that sort of thing. A person who's around guns, person who, uh, you know, handles shop things basically and somewhat uh, they're very logical, very responsible, very, you know, intelligent, things like that. But also, well, it can be in a good way also that they had a very close connection, this person, in their childhood with a man. It can be the grandparent, it can be father, it can be some older, I'm thinking older person, yeah... My actually a grandfather, very close connection to a grandfather. Like they're looking up to them. They're looking up to them. <clears throat> so it can be actually um, the gun thing can still apply. It can you know the profession can still apply, but it's the main the main thing in the childhood. This person from one to ten years old. Let's have a look at more information okay we have five of pentacles childhood yeah so here we we can have a little bit of poverty and a little bit of uh, like difficult times not so good health in childhood um, feeling a little bit helpless in a way being lost, like, uh, and feeling also struggling childhood, maybe it's a, it's a doctor also, if it's a bad health, you know, like, maybe injuries, maybe some sort of allergies that the person was having, the child was having, also, I'm getting like uh, being stuck between two things in life. I don't know, maybe it's also living without a parent, like um, children's, like an orphanage or something. Maybe it's um, living with a grandparent only. But I'm feeling the child is kind of lost and it's between two things in life, like maybe a uh, orphanage and home. Like... There's some two things that is being torn in between. Yeah, again, something like that. But maybe some sort of document, some sort of travel, I don't know, between two. What about that man? Well, it can be a doctor, that man. Because this man is associated with something a little bit negative, uh, some sort of bounding or some sort of <clears throat> restriction or ill health, things like that. So, <clears throat> I think this also was not a very easy childhood, yeah? But later it improved, kind of. Some opportunity came, maybe some documents were signed... Uh, the person was waiting for a long time, the child, I mean, and I think maybe they traveled and somewhere, moved away somewhere, and things were better. Okay, let's have a look at their teenage years. Well, this card in teenage years from 10 to 20, it can talk about uh, pleasures, it can talk about alcohol, it can talk about hanging around with friends, it can talk... Um, about a happy family life also. Look, we see warmth, we see mother, we see family, we see happiness, wish fulfillment, and them being a happy child. So, <clears throat> from 1 to 10 years old was tough, but from 10 to 20 years old, it's a lot better. We see the warmth of the family, that the person was surrounded, the child was surrounded with warm family. And there was, like, everything one could want, love and, you know, 
taking care of them. Like I'm feeling first I thought like alcohol was there. Also, it can be also that alcohol was also there. Child used alcohol when, let's say, in his teenage years. But also they had home and love and mother. That sort of thing. Now let's look at their adult years. For 20 years, oh my, death. It can talk about a complete transformation of life uh, from what was happening. It can be trauma, it can be shock, it can be something happened. Of course, it can be that uh, the person you're asking about is not alive anymore. I don't know. But in very rare cases, maybe it can. If, let's say, you haven't met the person for like... 10 years, 5 years, I don't know, and you have no idea what is happening. But usually it's just like something drastically changes in life. The person left their home, their country, their house, their job, you know, they, they changed their personality, they overcame uh, some sort of, um, you know, they overcame some sort of transformation, changed the gender, changed the hair, I don't know. Um, it can be things like that. It can also mean the health went bad and it's kind of darkness now in their life. Like, Okay, let's have a look. What is it talking about, actually? What is the death about? Oh, I'm so sorry. I mixed the cards. As well. Again, I'm mixing the cards. Sorry about that. Started with the Hanson Roberts, finishing with the Rider Waite. But, okay, let's... Go on. Because I'm having the same card. Well, definitely. What is the death about? It can be about some sort of business, lifestyle. What they do. The sort of business that they do, work that they do, temperance, six of cups. It can be uh, not a very good lifestyle, for example, it can be related with money, like some sort of big business, transactions, international, some sort of uh, business, <clears throat> and a little bit like criminal for me here, of course doesn't have to be for all can be related with with something they're not proud of it can be one of the versions like that what else can this be well some Okay, it can be again the alcohol issues, can be the drug issues, can be uh, the same issues that they had when they were a child here. And it can be something that uh, a little bit they're not proud of, feeling guilty about. But here we, we see that maybe a very successful businessman, maybe dealing with money, but also being dependent on someone, not being free. It can be, yeah, something like that. What you should do. How can you help this person if they need help? Go to them, see them, or run from them. Yeah, I think uh, you might help this person by going to this person and offering some sort of help, like uh, love, basically, emotional love and warmth, things like that. That's how I feel it. I'm not clearly understanding this one, but the main feeling is that, yeah, and depending on who is that person, can be your relative or anything, 
you might just spontaneously travel and meet them and just be nice and offer some love and things like that okay so let's go on and have a look at the deck number three this is Morgan Greer tarot deck mini and let's look at this person childhood teenage years and adult years can be anybody childhood teenage years adult years okay childhood you see the hangman so here in the childhood we can say the child felt like trapped they felt uh, that they were always being held by the parents not giving them freedom and they were always had to kind of compromise you know listen to what others have to say and never really had a lot of fun because of that like somebody always hold, held them by one leg never let them like maybe go out and play properly it also can talk about them being a little different child like a unique uh, very um, kind of interesting having different you know worldview and things like that Okay, so we see the Seven of Cups and we can talk about a child that dreams, that has a different world, that has imaginary friends, that is very artistic, creative and kind of lives in a dream world. Uh, sometimes you can talk about someone who has, again, health issues, allergies, uh, or, you know, colds and has to have lots of medicines and because of these medicines the child always, um, not always, but often might feel a little dizzy or have hallucinations you know things like that like a little bit medical can be a medical kind of dizziness caused by medicine and yeah well four of cups shows a child for whatever reason being not very interested in things um or maybe just uh, being uh, again the dreamy type again they're dreaming they are uh, like watching from uh, from the side whatever is happening they're not participating and they're kind of the observer and stuff like that also i'm feeling like they're standing by the side they're not uh participating in the games or or something maybe they like to draw to draw and paint and maybe play some instrument or something creative like they always think about some ideas and something make something create something you know so they always in their mind always in their world and they are disappointed they're sad so they're almost I don't know why but they were like a sad, serious child. They're always thinking. They're always in their mind. And uh, maybe as a child already they were a little bit sad because of some reason. Oh, and this card fell. That's the King of Rods. Uh, well, you can talk about uh, a strong man, similar to Emperor. Um, like maybe a father figure, maybe a stepfather. They were um, not liking some man in their childhood who was a little bit violent from their eyes, who was a little bit, not necessarily violent, but maybe like athletic, sporty, you know, and like probably someone says, get up and go, you know, run or play football or whatever, and the, the child just wants to draw or dream. Yeah, so it's not the child's style to play football. But this man would come up. And actually, I feel like like some coach type coach. Like very, again, like an army guy. Like discipline, likes discipline, likes action. But this child isn't like artistic type. He doesn't want to play sports. Okay, let's have a look at this child's adult, uh, sorry, teenage years.
Wow, the justice. Well, this card can talk here about some sort of um, higher force being important in the life, some sort of discipline, some sort of strictness, like uh, maybe some sort of institution also. You know, it can be that the child was actually uh, like in, I don't know, penitentiary or something. Uh, had problems with law, perhaps, from 10 to 20 years. It can be some sort of orphanage or it can be like some basically institution where documents are being um, like government type of thing because here there is no family there is no mother father maybe they went to boarding school that can also be without family but Okay, but here, it's like they are able to follow their path. Even though they are, this justice card is like, weird. But it seems that they are being offered some sort of opportunities uh, to do what they like, like in arts, again, the cup cards, you know, coming. Like, they are able to follow their path and it's helping this justice. Is it the institution or is it, it can be a... What can it be? I'm feeling it's not a person, it's a place. And uh, and here, in that place, they're happy, actually. Even if it's a jail, or even if it's an orphanage, or boarding school. It's like they are able to open their talents, their artistic, creative talents. And it's like a... It gives him them hope and some sort of like uh, the enthusiastic about it, the interested. It can talks about it, uh, sorry, it can talk about them having their first love in that place or in those years. Of course, it's basically normal, but they, these are good cards. Again. They might uh, be doing something like studying and working or doing something and doing something, something to... Life is not easy, but it's okay, they're managing. Now let's have a look at their uh, teenage years. Oh, sorry, adult years. I have the Knight of Pentacles. Well, we see... Uh, like the, uh, it can be finances, that they're basically focusing on finances more. It can show some sort of uh, financial processes happening. They're waiting for something financially. And we have success in work, healthy competition, and an important female. If this is person is a female that we're reading about, it can mean that she is now confident and uh, work-oriented and battling and working and being happy we see them having some success in their work um, work or so basically so I think they have if this is a man they, they might have a wife who supports them, who is very strong. We have the sun card. She is like the sun of their life. She gives them energy and inspiration. Now, what is their success about? It can be like institution, maybe a birth of a child, of course. Or it can be like uh, opening a school for children or something like that. And what they're struggling with, it can be just the life is so busy that they have to kind of you know, work hard to keep up with it. It can be like a routine, doing, 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 again and again. People, lots of friends, you know, lots of, um, how to say, lots of movement, lots of 
joy, lots of laughter, lots of talking, like very social. So I think, again, in the childhood, they were a little bit like maybe um, there was not a good relative in their house or something. So that's the only thing that bothered them. But otherwise, they were able to make their life work for them. And it's pretty good what we see. They're successful now and have a person they love. <clears throat> okay, if it's a female though, it can mean that she is simply happy. She is strong and happy, has children. Or it can be a daughter for that matter, anybody. This is our deck number four. Let's have a look about this uh, person's childhood, teen uh, teenage years and adult years. This is childhood, teenage years and adult years. Well, we have strength card in childhood. Well, of course, this can be a little difficult childhood as well, struggling with things, again, dreaming. And some sort of success, maybe a good home. Hmm. Here I think it's more positive. Um, it can be that the person grew up with animals, dogs, cats, and um, you know they 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 were exposed to the pets and things like that. And I feel it's pretty positive, like uh, the house was there, like maybe the family used to have celebrations and, you know, festivals and things like that, events, and the child liked it a lot. Then the, uh, I don't know, Seven of Cups, of course, can be creativity and the child being like uh, like fantasizing, creating, creative child, always in their world, having imaginary friends. Um... I don't think this is alcohol in the house, like parents drinking, because sometimes strength and seven of cups can mean like um, some sort of abuse, like, I don't know, but I feel it's, maybe it was a pretty nice childhood full of many things, like going to Disneyland and experience the world and having many things to be, being exposed to many things and things like that so I'm feeling this is pretty okay it can be that the child had to listen to his parents not to, or his or her parents not show the emotions 100% watch what they say or how they say it like um what was the strength card about? Well, it's the five of wands. It can be arguments, some sort of arguments, shouting in the house from time to time, struggle, some sort of struggle. Ta. It was, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at the person's uh, teenage years. The star. The person had a hope. They might have had uh, psychic abilities opening up. They might have had uh, many dreams about the future. They might be into the like musicians and okay. Six of nine of. It was like a little bit interesting, like the star, like I'm feeling their state of mind was trying to remove themselves from reality in order not to like face a reality. It can be that the person had many dreams about the future 
listen to music and maybe wanted to become someone and dreaming about it. But then we see like moving away. And like quiet, like quiet, quiet. Like empty in their mind. It can be again talking about drugs if in some cases because when person is on drugs or alcohol so his mind is very off like nothing is there like it's not participating in this world so it can be that sort of scenario it can be them uh, healing from something like going to some sort of hospitals and healing like lots of um, how to say, uh, maybe illness or something like that, but because these two cards are kind of healing, this is also like, can be something like healing, and this is expensive place to stay, to stay in an expensive place, like uh, some sort of uh, health resort or, or something where people heal, but like not a hospital, more like some healing centers, or I don't know how they're called. <clears throat> so yeah, that sort of thing. Now, I might be totally wrong, of course. But I'm feeling like quiet, adulthood quiet, like trying to run away, trying to avoid, trying to maybe travel travel was involved maybe but I'm feeling like the travel was involved in their mind not in physical body so they maybe traveled in their mind something like that maybe it's dreaming maybe it's some sort of psychic experiences maybe it's illness where they had to be in bed and um, something like that now I'm sorry if I'm wrong and if uh, you chose this deck and you know the person never had this experience you know but I cannot think of anything else here and again it's tough it's a little bit tough um, I'm not able to crack this one. Not able to crack this one. Child. Moon. Again, we have the moon, which is like. And sun. I totally believe this can be uh, related with mental issues. Or psychic experiences. Opening up. Okay, let's have a look at the adult years. We have two of coins. Okay, so two of coins can be being a writer, it can be being um, participating in some sort of business where you earn small money from, let's say, clients. It can be doing two jobs at the same time so it can and two of swords and one of so ace of swords again I'm seeing them not quite improved like uh, improved maybe again they're like Again, they're like struggling with some sort of decision or healing or they're always like in that swimming somewhere in that world. This person, how can this... Like again, they're healing and again, they are trying to let it get resolved and we have this card. Seven of Swords. And I'm not feeling like a family. I'm not 
seeing a family. I feel like they struggle a lot. They struggle, struggle, always struggle. And it can be mental issues like indecision, not being able to make up their mind what they want to work, who they want to be. And uh, like maybe alcohol or something here and there. If not, then I'm sorry about that. Maybe it's a medicine. But like I'm feeling like, mm, in their mind they're like not grounded, like something like that. It can be the work, uh, have a job, like a small job, and again this card, mental card. Maybe they um, struggle with some sort of mental issue again. Or maybe they're afraid of something, always. Basically... Or maybe they undecided what they want to do. Or maybe they work night shifts. No, I'm thinking it's mental something. They're not a very happy person. They might not have discovered themselves. And they might have some issues with their mind. Thoughts and... They might not have the power to control these thoughts or feelings or emotions. It's like very like this. No mm, swimming in their mind. Okay. So let's have a look at our last deck. It's deck number five. It's a Tarot de Marcy by Los Carbeo mini deck. Let's have a look about this child, uh, this person's childhood, teenage years and adult years. So what was their childhood like, what was their teenage years, and what was their adult years? The person you chose, number five. Take number five. Let's look at the childhood. We have, again, king of swords, like an unimportant person, maybe a grandparent in their childhood. Oh, love, um, great connection with their grandfather. Lots of communication, lots of talking. And it's, it was a soulmate, I think, relationship. Um, they had a very strong connection with a male. You know, SARS, usually they're older people. Maybe the, these people are already passed. And uh, it seems that this person had... The childhood they associate with this, exactly with this man. They associate with the childhood this connection with this person who loved them a lot. And, uh, and this person might have felt like a soulmate, like a special connection. And there was so much love and understanding and the conversations they had were so amazing and things like that. And I think uh, they had great memories about their childhood and this person this grandfather I think okay now uh, adult here uh, sorry teenage years we see the queen of wands well it was a woman or it can be if it's a girl that you're asking about if it's a woman it can be that she was this queen of wands like kind of crazy she was she wanted to go and do everything you know a little bit aggressive violent not violent, but like a difficult child, maybe expressive, emotional, you know, wanting to do things, go with friends, socialize, go out of the house, like run from home, maybe, I don't know. But that sort of thing. Okay, and we see uh, the life was very important at the age of teenage years. There must have been some karmic, karmic lessons uh, learned during this teenage years like uh, maybe some sort of uh, dreams maybe some sort of experiences and we feel at the same time 
This can talk. Some sort of searching, some sort of searching in the adult years, like maybe the person uh, was woken up by higher forces, by, you know, God or universe or whatever you want to call it. The, the, the person had dreams, the person had experiences that were karmic experiences. They might have been very difficult experiences, there, there was soul searching happening, maybe there was some sort of... Um, setting off themselves from the other people and uh, trying to discover intuitively their path in, in these years. And it, this can be soul searching, this can be leaving, looking for things, um, love relationships. And uh, it can be difficult lo first love. It can be very difficult first love. Like uh, disastrous. And this first love might have been a karmic uh, debt that the person had to pay. And um, it was all about that. It was not just like that, you know. And and I feel like uh, in adult years, this person was saved and looked after by um, like their guardian angel. There was this first um, connection to the... I don't know, spirit world, the God, spirituality, true path, etc., etc. So this judgment, you know, it's a very strong card. It's like karma. It's like God is talking to you straight away, you know, it's calling you. And um, that sort of thing is happening. Now let's have a look at, uh, and it seems that this person is a girl, by the way. Okay, let's have a look at the adult years of this person we have three of cups well we have pretty good card it can be it can mean being spiritual being religious it can be having nice people around you around that person it can be uh, children it can be meditation it can be spirituality well it can be alcohol as well let's have a look more we see uh, emperor that means that the person might have been married uh, and having like a back, very like a husband who cares for them, like stability. Knight of Swords, a little bit of tension. And again, small business or small job, earning the money. The man they love. If it's a female. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this more like married family life, um, small income, a little bit of stress, <coughs> perhaps, sorry. So I'm seeing like uh, a man in this person's life, if it's a female, I'm getting this as a female because of this. And uh, for me, it seems that in their adult life also, the man is leading their life. Like, their life is dependent on a man. It's, uh, it's going around a man. If it's a male, just in case, it still can be that, okay, the male person is very good in business, stable in his business financially. Everything is fine. And uh, they have... You know, some sort of clients, income. And even in their life can be that uh, either that they are some sort of priest and, you know, uh, psychic or something, or, or artist. Or it can be that they have a friend or brother or some male who is in their life, like, leading, like a leader in their life and they're following this person. And the person is still unhappy, they're still complaining. So, so there is some sort of a little bit of a regret, a little bit of sadness about the past. The person still uh, is having everything, but they're still remembering their past, still not 100% they're happy. So, so yeah, this is our reading number five. And...
yeah please share in your comments uh, how was this reading was it um, resonating or not and thanks for watching my video hope to see you next time good night